hello everyone you welcome back to my channel so today we are going to be replicating this stuff so let's get into it this is paper stay this is just majorly for the lining and this is st this is for the main fabric okay and here is wadding and it's going to be used to cut the bust area and And we are also going to be needing the fabric. For this time today, I'm going to use six yards of Accra fabric. And we are going to have one yard of the entire So let's dive into the cutting. The lining is folded into two. I'm going to draft in an armhole princess that's bustier. Because that is what is on the style so i'll just quickly run through it i believe you all know how to do this by now because i have been posting that on the channel for the longest time so first from the guideline so this your guideline is going to serve as your shoulder so you measure down the length of the ham hole measure the length of the ham hole i'm using nine for the ham hole then you measure the nipple point the nipple point is 11 then you measure the under bust length under boss is 14. You measure the waist length with half inch allowance and then you extend the lines. So on the shoulder, you're going to measure the shoulder divided by two. The shoulder is 16 divided by two, that will be eight inches. You mark the eight inches and you roll it all the way to the chest line. So let's take it again. This is the shoulder. This is the chest line. Your hand wall length gives you your chest line. This is the nipple point. This is the underbust. This is the waist length and half inch seam allowance. Okay. So the next thing on the chest line, you pull the conference divided by four. The bust is 38 divided by four. That would be nine and a half. You put nine and a half. Then you come to the waistline, you put the waist circumference divided by four. The waist circumference is 32.5 divided by four. That will be 8.25. And you connect it together this way. Very easy. So the next thing you're going to do is to come to the... So the next thing we have to do now is to... You come here to the tip of the shoulder. You measure one inch downward. And you also come to the folded edge here, you measure three inches. You connect the points together this way. So when you have this line, you add you measure half inch upward from that slanted line. That will serve as your shoulder seam allowance. So you put it this way. Can you see? So the next thing you do is to locate the mid ham hole. Come here, locate the middle of the ham hole this way. And at this middle of the hand pole, you come in by half inch, half, then you connect it back to the shoulder tip, this way. Okay, can you see? So the next thing, you come to the nipple point line. You input the nipple to nipple distance divided by two. My client's nipple to nipple distance is 7.5 divided by two. That would be 3.75. Then I'm going to add half inch to it for the seam allowance. That would be 4.25. So make mark 4.25 here. 4.25. Then I'll roll it straight down to the waistline. Then I'll connect it to the mid hand pull. Can you see? Like this. The next thing is to input our dad so you come to the under bust length at this side i'm going to come in by half inch then at this other side i'll take two inches then i'm going to roll it straight down to the waistline for the two on both sides so i'm going to just roll them to the waistline this way can you see the next thing is to connect them also to the nipple point line so first off just do this like this. Then use the cup part of the ruler for the other side and also connect to the nipple point line. 
pencil like this okay so we are done with the down part so you go back to the mid hand hole from the mid hand hole you measure two inches downward okay so from this mid hand hole you connect it to the nipple point line with the curve part of the ruler again can you see like this so you need to extend the line outside by two inches okay Can you see? So this is it. So the next thing is just to finish the hand hole. So look at the way I'm going to position the cuff. I'm using this inside, okay? The one inside, this cuff inside. That's what I'm using. So I'm going to just place it this way. Can you see? It's going to touch these two inches and also touch this line. Can you see? The cuff will touch this and this, okay? Like this. Can you see? So make sure it's touching the two of them and then you create the curve. Can you see? So the next thing you have to do now is to replace your dart and also put your same allowance. Replace the dart, all the dart that pass through, you replace it. Then you put your same allowance. So see the way it is. See the way this shape is. I don't usually like it to come and be this way. So I'm going to just root this one straight upward. Okay. Can you see? At any point, I don't like my dart. I don't like my shape to be like a shape. It should never be. Rather, it should be like, like this. It can be like this, like. Boom, like this, but never should it look like a shape. I don't like that shape, so I'd rather roll it straight from the waistline upward, thereby giving me some excess on the bust line, which is totally fine. Then you just blend, blend your hand hole with that line, okay? Blend your hand hole with that line. So the next thing you come back to the side seam here, you come up by one inch, one, and you connect it to your dart leg. This is my dart leg here, connect it to the dart leg. this way can you see it so we are almost done so we are going to use this to just cut out the main fabric so our neckline here is our neckline here is three so just leave it at that i'll tell you what to do with the neckline later let's work on the back thing next you measure the length of the hand hole same as you use at the back, uh, the same as you use in front. Then you measure the waist length. The waist length we use there is 17, but because we already slant the side seam, we already slant the side seam here by one. So this 17, you remove one from it. So that will give you 16. Then you add your same allowance of half inch. Then you extend the line. You come to the waistline, you measure one inch inward. And then you take it this way. Can you see? So we have done it. Then next from here you measure your zip allowance. I'm using one. So here also should be one. Then you connect this together. Okay, so all your measurements is going to start from here now. All your measurements will start from here to that side. So here you measure the shoulder divided by two. The shoulder is 16 divided by two. That's eight inches. Just roll it straight down to the chest line. This way. Next, you can just finish your arm hole. This way. Can you see? The next thing is to stand the shoulder. So from this line again, you measure three inches. Measure one inch downward. This way. Connect together here. You can have your same allowance of half inch. Okay. Next, you put your 
circumference measurement so your measurement is starting from this line don't forget so here you put the bust circumference divided by four the bust is nine point uh the bust is 38 divided by four that would be 9.5 you put it you come to the waistline you measure the waist circumference divided by four so 36.5 divided by four you put it there the, the back is going to have one inch for the darts you put it okay so you connect these points together Then the next thing you are going to do is to put your seam allowance. I'm using two inches for my seam allowance. I use two and a half in front because the front is going to be into pieces, but this back is not going to be pieces. Okay, so. Can you see? We are done with the back. The back is always very simple and straightforward. Okay. So for the neckline, we are going to be doing one at the back. So measure one inch downward. And connect it to this three inches neck width. Can you see? So you have this, all right? So the next thing is to put your notch at the counter post it is very very important notch the counter post can you see okay so this is what we have so if you open it okay from here i'll measure the neck depth i want the neck depth to be neck depth to be three and a half inches so from here Can you see? So it's coming like this. Make sure you run it very well. If it means coming down a bit from the line, do that. So this is how it is. Pretty and fine. All right. Can you see? So for the main fabric, you have this. So and everything is just looking beautiful like this. You know that you have done a wonderful job. <laughs> All right, so we are done cutting. Next is just to pad. You have this for the back. So the first thing is to sew in your dart. So mark the position of the dart and sew accordingly. Next is to use the lining to turn the fashion fabric like this. Just place them together on top of each other, right side to right side, and stitch the both sides. And when you turn it to the good side, this is what you have. If you're part of the people that ask me how I attach pockets to this flay, you know, we cut this uh, flay earlier last week. So this is how I did it. You know, we didn't plan that it was going to have pockets before. But the client just says she wants pocket. So what I did is that I folded it back into four, leaving my zip allowance like so. Can you see the way I folded it? Hope you can see it. Just, I'm not going to fast forward this so that you can see it clearly. So it's folded into four. And you see, I left my zip allowance at the other side. Then I sliced the side a bit. Just cut it a bit to like about 11 inches can you see like about between like 11 to 12 inches can you see this is the center front here so this is how it's looking now just pay attention to the way I'm going to do it it's pretty simple so once you have it you are going to now stitch it as if you are sewing in a dart you know how you how you usually sew with that hey just look at the way i'm doing it you start from nothing and sew upward like about about quarter inch like this to where you want your pocket to start from 
it's pretty easy just look at the way i'm doing it i'm not going to fast forward this so that you can understand it this is just specifically for those people that ask how i attach pockets because i have so many questions of how i attach the pocket so this is just it so this is the pocket right here on the table i've cut it out i believe we all know how to cut pocket so the next thing is for you to measure from the waistline you measure about two inches downward and from there you are going to place the pocket right side to right side and stitch the pocket just the way we usually stitch pocket so just stitch it on top of the flay on both sides Okay, so if you notice you see i use very tiny seam allowance to join the pocket to the body of the skirt because we didn't plan that it was going to have pocket before so if, if you if you are not careful you might your your measurements might be short okay so that's why you just need to use just tiny seam allowance so that you don't shorten your measurements So now I have ironed, you can see I have ironed and mold the breast very well and I've also ironed this. I open up the seam and just cover it, can you see? So the next thing is just to match them together, right side to right side and you stitch the side seams together, only the side seam, okay? So can you see? So you can iron again. You can tuck in any gum so that you marry these two together nicely. So I've ironed the thing nicely. I've put any gum and married them together like semi gum in between them. So they are together. In one. Next thing I'm going to do is just to match front and back together, right side to right side, and I'm going to join the shoulders together okay so we're going to have a separate tutorial for the collar because i don't want to rush this video so that you will understand everything so so the next thing i'm going to do now is just to attach the sleeve to the body and then after that i'm going to take my measurements just confirm your measurements and close the side seam then when you're done with this step we are going to attach the flay to the down part of this body Make sure you confirm your measurements and close accordingly. So the next thing now is just to use lining to turn it.
even close the center back. I'm gonna close the center back. And yes, we are done. This is the final look. Can you see? So, tutorial will be coming up on this color soon. Let's make sure you don't miss this next tutorial because you know me very well. I'm always very detailed. So, make sure you don't miss it. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Mwah.